What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week so far. So just want to do a couple updates on some of the snakes. Some of them have went into shed and I got two new snakes. So hopefully you guys kind of like them. Um, I love them. So if you guys don't like them, sorry, but um, they caught my eye and I, I just really wanted them. So we'll get into that a little bit later. But man, this girl is looking so awesome. And I had to clean out her cage because she had the large rat last week. And man, that was a huge mess. Pooped all over the cage, smeared it everywhere. Um, finished pooping in her water. So that was a nice little cleanup job for me. But if anybody's looking to get an Argentine, whether it's the Max Pink line or just the regular um, black and white like her, I definitely say go ahead and buy one because they are insane. Great animals to work with, great snakes to have around. They're definitely a little bit harder to find now. I don't know if that's going to change over the next couple of years, but I don't see the prices going down on them, only going up. So I say if you can find one at a reasonable price, jump on it because you cannot go wrong with one of these beautiful beautiful snakes. So we'll put her back and my normal shed out. So we'll look at her and then we'll look at uh, some of the other bigger snakes, but definitely going to toss in the two snakes that I picked up. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Had a little bit of some issues getting her out. So we're just jumping right into it. So this is my female 2016 normal boa she's not a red tail she's no morphs no het for anything it's just a basic wild type um common boa that you would see just walking around down in probably anywhere in south america maybe even central america but she looks really really good and she is getting really big so she just shed out um today actually i missed it unfortunately but at least it was a full shed and no problems. So a lot of people say that the bigger snakes have issues with shedding, but I have not noticed that yet. Um, although my snakes aren't really that big, but I think, you know, for the, for the boas, it's not a problem if you keep the humidity at 65 or 70, which mine normally is a little bit higher than that, but no problems. Man, she looks really good for a normal so you can basically pick these up for probably 50 bucks at any reptile show. Maybe a little bit more if you buy online because of shipping and stuff like that. But she, every time I get her out, she wants to go to the fan. <laughs> I don't know why. It's either going to the fan or going straight for the camera. But she is definitely a very sweet girl once she is out of her cage. Um... I'm having the same issue with her as I do with the Motley. Always going to the fan. I don't know why. I guess she just wants to climb. But if I walk past her cage, uh, sometimes she will strike at it just like the Motley. I don't know if I need to um, get blackened out PVC or plastic that would work instead of the clear see-through or just keep putting up the, uh, the paper like I do with the Motley, which seems to be working out for her. But I just wanted to show her really fast because she's huge. Wow, well, okay, she's getting big. She's not huge. Um, but I would definitely say pushing, I don't know, five and a half, six feet? I don't know. I'm not good with measurements, but we will see what happens with her since she's still pretty young. Like I said, 2016. Um, so we'll see what happens with her. All right, so we are looking at the female ghost and she's supposed to be het for albino, which is good because I can always throw in my male snow with her at some point in the future and see what happens, see if they hit on the albino. Um, I really like the ghosts. I think they're very underrated snakes just because of the colors, the patterns and stuff like that. Um, but I, I think they're really good and um, I just love you know, people are adding jungle to them, which is awesome. People add, have added the IMG to them, which is extremely nice. I would not mind getting a male IMG uh, ghost just to make more of them or try to make more of them. But 
I just really like the colors and the contrast and the black spots all over her. Um, I just, I don't know, I just really like the way that these look. And it's sad that they do get overlooked because I think a lot of people would like them if they knew about them or have seen more of them. But they're not flashy, they're not like anything crazy, they're not the newest things, but they still look good. And I really like having her around even though she can be, that wasn't bad, but sometimes she can be annoying to try to get back into her cage because she always wants to come out and stay out. So if you guys missed what happened, I had to get rid of the two homemade things. I got to um, add a couple things to them, but in the meantime, uh, I got to add more glue because the glue came undone on one of the plexiglass and we had an escapee, but she's found, she was in the room, no problems. So I just went ahead and bought this at a local reptile shop, which are the exact same ones as those. Um, and then added some lights on it, put the Repti chip in here. And so this is just the Motley head for albino, which seems like almost every snake <laughs> seems to be head for albino, it seems. But I just love Motleys. And I know I say that all the time, but I do. I love the squared patterns down the back i love the tails on them i like whoa i like how on the sides it's like layered and has different layerings on it and she's super sweet super nice and then we'll see what happens with her in the future so we'll just tighten those up and then we'll check out some of these smaller ones and then i'll add in the two new ones that I got, but I know some of you guys do like seeing. So some of these cages, I've tried to clean them all out, but I missed that one apparently. So you'll notice that I pretty much have all females. <laughs> I have one male boa, which is not good to do, but, um, but it's not bad to have a bunch of females either. So this is the IMG motley jungle and it's 100 percent het for oh it's hypo that's a hypo hypo motley jungle het for snow definitely a lot of stuff going on with this one but she's definitely she's really darkening up a lot i was looking at pictures from when um i first got her a couple of months ago and she's about a year old now and her tail is really darkening up it was pretty red when i got her uh, so we'll see we'll see what happens this year and sometimes the IMG takes a little bit of time to um, kick in. So not all the time is it within six months does an IMG turn all black. Sometimes they don't even, not all IMGs even turn all black. They just might have the black speckling, uh, half of their body might turn black. But um, you know, if you get an IMG Motley, 99% of the time it's jet black, which is awesome which is what I'm hoping to get here in the next week or two, possibly tomorrow night, is a male IMG Molly. I think getting a male IMG Molly could serve a lot of purposes with a lot of these females. Um, not her, because that's you can't do that. You can't put Molly and Molly together, which sucks. But we'll look at her really quick. So this is my Guyana True Red Tail, and she is awesome. 2017, very small. Had issues with her when I first bought her, but she bounced back. And they do normally tend to stay a little bit on the small side for the first couple of years, depending on how you feed them. And then they, they jump up in really nice size. Um, that's about like your fourth or fifth year, something like that. They hit their growth spurt and they can sometimes even get bigger than the commons, which is cool. And as she gets older and older, her tail will just get brighter and brighter, which is definitely a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. And who are we looking at down here? Let's look at these, this one right here. So I, I do believe I have all of my boas in the tubs now on RectiChip, which they are all getting bigger and eating very well. I've had them long enough that I don't really need to worry about um, 
anything weird. I don't think. I hope not. But, so this is the Jungle um, Hypo. And it's supposed to have pastel in it. But I think pastel is a recessive. And I think there's different lines of pastel as well. I'm not 100% sure what line she has. But if it's recessive, I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, she's not hep for anything. So, that's fine. Um, I would love to put an IMG Molly with her. And just see what happens. I think that would be a really cool combo. And she ha she obviously has at least three years, possibly, till breeding. Um, I know like, minimums four on the females. A lot of people do, I think, wait till year five. Because they can get a bigger amount of babies out of them. But, hey. If you can get a four-year-old bow to produce you some nice nice babies why not all right let's get into the two new snakes that i got so i got this one about a month ago and i just picked this one up today so they're both sisters so let's keep that in mind uh, they're both female which uh, of course i bought another pair of females so um this girl right here i kind of kept her under um you know not showing you guys just because I wanted to have another one to show you. And so here we go, we got two. And this girl is pure evil. She hates me. She hates everything and everybody. So we can see that she's super agitated. And this is what she does. She gets mad, she hisses, she strikes. She um, is just annoyed by the world. And it's frustrating because I, she's gorgeous and I want her to be nice. So I'm going to have to put a lot of time into her and a lot of handling. I don't want to get bit. Not that it would hurt. But I don't want but I don't want to be bleeding all over the carpet. But I also don't want her to bite and her lose teeth in me. And, or get her teeth ripped out. Which could do damage to her permanently. Possibly. Um, so she's definitely eyeing the camera. So this is the VPI Aztec. And she is, she looks good. She, she's mean, but she looks good. So we're not going to take too much time on her because I don't want to get her all fired up and riled up and have like a heart attack or something because she's super mad. So uh, I've been very, very lucky and, oh, there we go. I'm very lucky that... That's out of all the snakes that I own, she's the only one that wants to act like that. So I can't be I can't be too upset about it, but it's just kind of annoying because I would love to be handling that snake and I don't want to handle all my snakes, so it's kind of depressing that she's she hates me and it hurts my feelings. Um but we'll work with her and we'll we'll see what happens. So if I gotta get a glove on and let her bite me a couple times and let her know that I'm not a threat, then that's how that's going to happen. All right, so no water. I just set this thing up right before shooting the video. I just picked her up today. So they're both sisters. Same on the same day, same mom, same dad. Same everything. And whoa, look at that. No problems. Why did she have to be the problem child? All right, so female, uh, VPI IMG. Uh, two, just those two jeans in her, which is perfectly fine with me. I mean, these are awesome jeans. And so I got these both from Chi Town from Tony and could not be happier um, with, with dealing with him and buying off of him and with the shipping and, and all that stuff. But man, she is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, she just looks really, really nice. And hopefully you guys like the two new pickups. I love them, except for the attitude. <laughs> but if you guys don't like them, oh, sorry. So we'll try to get, see, I can even put my hand in front of her. And we don't have any issues, but wow, she is gorgeous. Now I have no idea how the IMG and the VPI will work together because since the IMG is an increasing melanistic gene, it makes things darker. And then the VPI is a 
Um, it's a line of albino, and I think it's the caramel albino, so it should lighten things up. So we have a darkening gene and a lightening gene. Uh, so I don't know. We'll have to figure out and find out. But she's from, she's pretty dark already from being how um, for how young she is, and she's big too. Like I'm shocked. She's a January 2021 baby, as long as and with that one. So gorgeous snakes. Super happy to have both of them. Uh, I had a lot of work on my hands with that Aztec, though the VPI Aztec, and we'll we'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated on her, or <laughs> you'll see me with bloody hands in the next couple videos, but hopefully not. So that's it, guys. I just want to say I appreciate the support on the channel, um, all the good comments, you guys subscribing and stuff like that. But hopefully, you guys, like I said, like the new pickups and. We got a long road ahead of us before these ladies are even close to being able to produce some wild, wild babies. But uh, you know, we're here for the here for the long road with with all these animals. So look at look how sweet she is. Like, why can't the why can't the other one be like that? Oh well, we'll we'll try to get her like this in a month. <laughs> Probably not, but but we'll try. We'll try. So. On that, um, that's it guys, and hopefully you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.